Whenever we're thrown on the old apron, that means we're about to do some work around here. My name is Scott Mendenhall. We have the five inch hubs, the craze. This is the five inch billet from Old Wheel Parts. This is the MTE five inch from the Flow Life. We're gonna compare, see which one's bigger. Not the size matters at all, but let's get it started. If you just got a one wheel, you need to do this with your friend. <laughs> Look at my friend helping me. Help! On this channel, we're dedicated to scientific facts and research. And we're gonna spend the next few moments doing our research. Oh, we're not very good at any of this, actually. We're just gonna share some opinions from holding these things, looking at them, inspecting them. Big difference right from the get-go. This comes installed with an N48 set of magnets, NTE. Comes installed with N42s. Now, you have other options on their website. You can purchase on thefloatlife.com, you can get N42s, N48s, and N52s. What's the difference in the magnet size? Your XR, GT, GTS, all could be installed in this, and said magnets will perform differently. We're coming from a GT, GTS. Recently, we've had the MTE installed on my GTS. The speed that we gained was mind-blowing, folks. Now, I'm not gonna answer the question, well, how fast did you really go, Scott? I'm not one of those guys that want to film those things, because every time I've seen someone film how fast they go on a one wheel, you know what happens? They fall. With the N42 magnets in a GTS, is you lose some of the torque, that power, the pizzazz, if you will, inside of the GTS. I believe with the N48, I'm gonna get a lot more of that back, lose some of the top end speed. N52 is the cat's meow when it comes to the GTS. We do not have the privilege of having that size magnet yet. Maybe when they come back in stock at the MTEs at the Float Life, we will snag an MTE with an N52 and compare that. You can already see that this comes off, the MTE comes off as a complete oval you have your screw holes and everything comes right off with your bearing in there very different than the inner of the hub of the one wheel parts comes off when we take a look down inside uh, the the hubs themselves one of the cool things i've noticed about the mtes is you know what magnets you have it is etched inside way in there it says n42 so you know without a shadow of a doubt you got n42 magnets it's even labeled on the outside of this when we look inside the one wheel parts or we look on the outside there is nothing to tell me that i have purchased the n48 magnet strength. The MTE hub comes in very cylinder, obvious, right? But it's smooth. It's one just comes straight in there. There's no lifts in there. It is, as you see there, it's just straight in. The one wheel parts, billet wheel, wheel has a lip here for the hub cap to sit on where you can screw it in. One of the next big differences besides that open cylinder space inside the hubs is how you inflate your hub. The MTE comes with this long stem that you flip out to pump. You pump it in and you flip it down. However, the danger of this valve stem being like this is if you're absent-minded. You pump it up and you leave it out like this, what's gonna happen is this gonna get it hooked on your one wheel as you go down the road and could potentially rip this out and now you're stranded in the woods. The billet wheel has a standard valve stem where you just unscrew this and you fill it up. However, it is a shorty. It looks a little bit different. It's gonna be, I would assume, Jace based. This is me in the editing room looking at the footage and I have installed the billet wheel. The short stem on the billet wheel is a little bit difficult to pump it's very doable but when comparing the two the valve stem flipping out of the float life is awesome in use high risk factor one of my kids changed the psi the other day and you know what they did they didn't put it back in and they went and rode and now they have mangled that waiting for float life to see if i can get a new one Let's talk about the cost of these. This is $100. The billet wheel from one wheel is $100 more than the MTE. We're gonna put the hubcaps back on. We're gonna get Lily's coffee scale. We're gonna get really scientific here and we're going to use, well, let me just get it. We're gonna use a GTS hub. Who, which one of the three do you think is gonna weigh the most? This one. This has come in at 6.11 pounds. One wheel parts. 
5.3. Now we're going the MTE. What's that way? 5.1. You're losing a pound on your one wheel with these five inch hubs, which is, this is a welcome to part uh, of upgrading some of your parts on your one wheel. Is it going down a pound? Do we have anything else we want to weigh? If you've ever installed a tire before, especially on this hub, it takes a little bit of finagling. All tires are installable, they just take a little bit of finessing at different times. You gotta use certain tools. You gotta get it over this massive lip to get it on, and then you set the beat. That's gonna be similar for the installation of a tire on the one wheel parts hub. It's, it's very similar to what you see as a stock hub. When we get to the MTE, one of the cool little features, if you're struggling to get a tire on, you're not a good installer, you can actually just slip the whole thing on this way, put the hub cap back on, screw it in, and then set the bead. One of the handy things about having a, a apron is you get to have a lot of cool things in your apron, like a tape measure. We're gonna measure now the height of the hubs to see if any one of them is taller. By eye looking, I can already tell that one is taller than the other. Now, if someone are gonna ask, why are you putting it like this? I don't wanna beat it back down. It's just a little bit cumbersome to pop off. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it knowing that it's metal to metal and this is the height of it sticking out, okay? So easily, we're gonna measure really quick the one wheel parts and it is right at, it's six and three quarters tall. Well, now what is the MTE come in as? Right at seven inches. Definitely a little bit, almost a quarter an inch wider. Again, $100 difference in the two, basically getting the same thing with mild, mild changes and tweaks to their preference and their style of riding. If you like the way Jeff Adir shreds, I would probably get the billet because this is what he rides the most. This seems to be what everyone's buying in the market. So many people have the MTEs at this current moment. We just interviewed Zane and she is an upcoming pro rider on the female side and she's riding the MTE hubs. So this is, seems to be the go-to and that could be because it's cheaper, not in quality or build, just overall price. When you purchase both hubs, you can upgrade the bearings. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install now this. Our tire of choice is the 655 Enduro from the Fault Life. Again, the beautiful thing about having a five inch tire is all this extra rubber for suspension and comfortability and rideability. If you want more information on the ride and what it's like, we've already dropped a video about this tire when we installed it on the MTE and how much we've enjoyed it and why going to a five inch hub is a pretty big deal. It's probably the best upgrade hands down you can do to immediately improve your ride. The last thing we're gonna point out, and it could be one of the coolest things, is the MTEs come in this color. It's like the first Ford ever made, Model T. You can have it in any color you want as long as it's black or the very first one wheel. You can have it any color you want, as long as it's blue. When it comes to customization, one wheel parts is your go-to place. If you like making your one wheel look especially unique, paying the extra couple bucks to be able to get the color you want sets off a unique look and style to your board. You can even just simply purchase the hubcaps and have different colors. You now have all the information that I have downloaded to you to help you make your educated decision as a consumer. Thank you so much for hanging with us today. It's been a blast. Drop a comment down below of any other thoughts I have forgotten about five inch hubs and the differences. Tell us which one's your go-to tire and hub. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our channel. You won't be disappointed, everybody. Have a fabulous day.